Good afternoon, everyone. Um, this is the Peer Edge webinar um, for all the admins. Um, again, if you have, if you're using your phone, um, please mute yourself because I do have you un unmuted so you guys can ask questions because sometimes it's hard for me to see questions being asked in the question field. And plus, since this is recorded, I would prefer that you guys ask questions out loud so um, people that are re that are listening to it on the recorded um, version can um, see what questions you guys all had. Um, so I'm going to just jump in right away with everything. Um, for to get, to get access to your phone, um, you'll need to go to, um, for all your phone um, extensions and everything, you'll need to go to HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash pureedgevoice.com forward slash login. You should all be using your email address, so your admin address. Um, if you don't know your password, it should be C21 affiliated and the C and the A are capitalized. So again, it's C21 affiliated is your password if you haven't reset it. Um, I am not going to log in as myself today because I have admin access. So that means I have access to every office and everything. And it's very confusing when I use my own account. So I am going to be using the Laporte office. I know Haley is on the phone today. So I'm going to be using her um, account today for, um, for the purposes of this webinar. Um, when you first log in, so after you log in here, you're going to be taken to this page. This page is um, our dashboard. We don't do anything this with this page right now, so you guys can kind of ignore it. Um, what you'll want to do is when you get in here, you can just go down to the bottom here and go to your account manager, and that will bring up your um, your where your account information is. So basically, I'm going to go over what every tab is in here and what you care about and what you don't care about. Um, so first of all, you have your home tab. Your home tab really is not going to show you much. This message center we never use. Um, this common task, I never use this. So basically, you're just thrown to this home page and um, you can see where you recently were. But other than that, you can ignore it. Um, the next tab is going to be your voicemail tab. This is a tab where you can actually access your voicemail online if you wanted to. So instead of getting it through your email, which you'll always get the email and the attachment of your voicemail, um, you'll also can get them here. You can also get them on your phone. A word of a word of wise to all of you is that if you are um, if you're using your email to access your voicemail, it does not delete your voicemail off the system. So they do delete every 90 days, but you're, so you might be like, I don't have any more messages. I've listened to them all, but your phone is still blinking red. That is because it doesn't clear it off of here. Um, next thing is gonna be services. And this is actually where you guys are gonna spend most of your time. Um, now, not you might not see when you first log into services, you might see that extensions is down here. You can move these around, but I'm going to go through this order here of what we have. And again, if you are on your phone, um, please try and put yourself on mute so we don't all hear you. Um, so to start out, we're going to start out with extensions. And I'm just going to kind of go through extensions. What are extensions? What do we do with them? Um, how do you guys use them? What are you guys going to use them for? You have two different kinds of extensions. You have standard extensions and you have cloud extensions. Standard extensions is going to be any extension that is associated with a phone. So for instance, you, every person on this Call has a standard extension because you all have desk phones for your front desk. Um, so if I go here into Haley's, Haley's office is one of the offices that doesn't have many standard extensions. Um, they really only have one. 
Um, so your standard extension list is going to be here. Um, so any again, anyone that has a phone that's assigned to an extension is going to be here. Um, if you have, um, and we'll go through, we're going to go through how to add someone and add someone and remove someone. Um, but I just want to make clear what a standard extension is. So again, most team leads have a standard extension. I know, in, again, in Laporte, they don't. They have cordless phones. Um, and in um, and then some team members, they'll have uh, standard extensions. Agents that have offices, that have phones in the office, they will have a standard extension. And then you have cloud extensions. Cloud extensions are extensions that have no phone associated with them. So when you dial the extension, it goes directly to their cell phone. So again, standard extensions are extensions that have phones connected to them. Cloud extensions are extensions that have that go directly to um, cell phones. So most times what you guys are gonna deal with is cleaning either removing an agent or adding an agent in the pure edge guide it starts with what to do when an agent leaves i actually like to start the other way i like to start with when an agent is hired so when an agent is hired um for instance let's say haley had a new um agent that was hired in her office she has no extensions available right now how i know that is there's no extension named agent any extension that is named agent is an extension that is an available extension. So if I don't have an available extension, what, this is one of the only times that you will actually email Pure Edge. You'll email support at pureedgevoip.com and ask for another extension. They'll try to give you the extension within your kind of group. So if you see, like Laporte is 7153, 7154, 7155. Then they go to 7424, 7425, 7431. They try to get it in, a, in an order, but it's just always not available. So just realize that you might have some different extensions out there um, within your office. So not everything is going to be in some sort of order. Um, so that was what's the first thing you'll do. So as soon as you see that extension available, we're gonna go with Stacy here. We're just gonna pretend like this says agent on it. It will say agent and it will say 7153 on it. So the first thing we would wanna do is we get wanna get that extension. Um, we wanna change the name of the, um, of the, ex to the agent's name. So whatever the agent's name is. So just for the purposes of this, we're gonna change it to my name. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is go in here and do the call routing. I suggest you do not set up Find Me. This is my personal preference, and I will tell you why. If you set up Find Me, what it does is this, and this, the only time, actually, I should take this back. The only time you want to set up Find Me is if maybe the agent has two numbers that they want to have used for someone to call them. But 90% of agents do not have that, so you just are going to use this call routing outside number it goes to their cell phone number so i'm at i'm in um laporte or i'm in any office that has one of our phone systems and i dial 7153 that number is going to dial her cell phone number this 219-363-0714 so that is where that's going to go to if it's busy you want to do it this Put all you want. What basically what you want to do is all of these need to just say outside number and have their cell phone number in it. Um, and the reason for this is if you know if for some reason they do switch to a standard um, extension, I'll kind of go through what that means in a standard extension for a minute. So if they're busy, um, what that means is that like both their lines. So for instance. If we take a look at you guys' phones, you all have three or two lines coming in. So when you get a call, you can put a call on hold and answer the other call. But if you have all those lines, then you're considered busy. So if all your lines are full, the next person that calls in is gonna go to your voicemail. You're not, they're not gonna ring on your phone, they're gonna go direct, directly to your voicemail. The next one is if it's not answered. So again, 
same thing. If you if you're not at your desk and no no one on the floor answers the phone, where is this gonna go? It's gonna go right to your voicemail. Let me sorry, let me just turn off my um email here. So that's the next thing is it's gonna go to your so if it's not answered, voicemail. Or for for the cloud extension, it will go to their cell phone, which doesn't matter because it still go to their voice if their their cell phone. If they're offline, so offline is something that we um that is if you're it's more to do with the phones that it does have to do with with cloud extensions, but we just we just like to set everything up the same. So you're gonna wanna have that be if it's offline again to that that number out there at to their cell phone number. So you just want to make sure that whatever you pick here is where you where the calls are going to transfer. So again, if I'm if I'm using a regular phone, let's say I have an agent who has a regular phone. If they're busy, they might want it to go to their voicemail. If they don't answer it, they probably want it to go to their voicemail. If they're offline, they probably want it to go to their voicemail. So you should ask your agents how they want their phones to ring when if they have a phone. Um, for instance, in the Berwyn office, if you try first and they don't, if you don't answer the, their phone phone, it rolls over to their cell phone. So you, again, you can have it either other way. Some, some agents like it that it just goes to their desk phone, but most agents want it to go to their cell phone. Um, voicemail, so you're going to want to set up their voicemail box. Right now it has Stacy, but what you would see before is the agent number and their their the agent uh it would say agent 7153 would be the one that you pick so you'll see that there's a list of them then you would pick the one that you needed and then what you're going to do is click save i'm not going to click save because i don't want to have my information in here for her but that's what you're going to want to do is hit save next now for any agent that has a cloud account please have them record their name. There is a number I can give you guys all that they can call the number. It's a 608 number and record their name. It's very simple for them to do. The reason for this is that we have a company directory and the company directory is everybody's phone number in there. So if someone calls after hours and they hit zero for the company directory, they're gonna do a dial by last name. So for instance, if they go SMI, well, SMI could be Smith, it could be Smipe, it could be uh, Simpson or whatever. It, it could be whatever whatever the, that last name of SFI starts with. So you want to make sure that they record their name because then the, what the auto attendant does is spell their name and it's awful and it takes forever. So instead, it should be press one for Kelly Kazmakia and that's what mine says. All you have to do is record your name. They don't have to record their voicemail because it goes directly to their cell phone. So they don't need to worry about that, but they do need to record their name. And I will emphasize this every single time, please make sure they record their name. Um, so after you've done this, what you're gonna wanna do is go in here and set up their mailbox. You'll go in there and you'll find their mailbox in there. Right now, I, I'm just gonna click this out and click search. So right now it would say agent 513. You're gonna go in that mailbox. And this really is for, um, especially for uh, agents that have phones. Um, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it says yes to send them an email notification. And then you're gonna to wanna to put their email address in there. Now again, it's not so important that you do this. this remember Stacy has a cloud extension so she's never going to really get a voicemail here unless for some reason someone sends it directly to them but you would never do that so the cloud extension is not as important to put this this email address in here but it is important for those ones that have phones that they have that email address in there and it includes yourself in there i mean you need it you you might want to just go in there and check and say hey i've never gotten a voicemail email you could go in there and check and see if yours is set up correctly. The rest of this, please do not change. Oh, it's 180 days. So please do not change any of this. This is all just kind of uh, generic stuff that we have set up. So just leave it alone.
Um, and then you would hit save. If an agent is with you and standing right there, they can record their name at your desk. So if I hit record right now, the phone at in the Laporte office would ring. You pick it up and you can record your name right there. So if they're in the office or whatever, they could um, record their name off the phone instead of calling the 608 number, which I will send to everybody. Um, this broadcast mailbox you'll never use, we'll never use, so you guys can ignore it. Um, so let's talk about how you would, and I'm going to stay in this mailbox one, though, of how you would change, um, so an agent leaves. So an agent is no longer working with us. So the first thing you're going to want to do, it's a little bit backwards, is you're going to first want to do the mailbox. So you're going to go want to go to find their mailbox in here and change it to that agent 51. Uh, 7153. You can you can change the password if you want to, um, or if you don't want to, it, it's whatever you want to do. Uh, just so you guys know, two default passwords for every voicemail. The default is your extension. So 7153 is probably Stacy's voicemail password, um, and they're set up that way. Um, you go ahead and you put the put the agent's name in there, and then you're going to hit save. Then you're going to go back. You're going to go back into that cloud extension. Hopefully, again, it says agent 7153, or I'm sorry, it's going to say Stacy because we're doing remove. Sorry. You're going to go in there. You're going to change this name to agent 7153. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take out all of these. You want now the extension to try first to go to your extension. So you're going to want to make it your extension. So if someone calls in and tries and tries to get the hold of Stacy because they happen to know her extension was 7153, now it's going to go to you. So that's what you want to make sure is that you take off all these settings. If they had find me settings, take off. Uh, set up and activate it, which you can just go like that and go back over here and make sure you change that extension to you. And then you can just clear these out. You can just delete it out. And then you can click save. Now, again, remember when you reassign this to a new person you're going to want to make sure that they record their name because if the person before them records their name, then they're going to have the same name again. So make sure they record their name. Um, and the same with um, if you are doing that with um, with your with voicemail and standard extensions, make sure that you have them record their voicemail because it will be the other person's voicemail. Okay, I'm gonna cancel this because I'm obviously do not want to change Stacy's settings and make her not active. But those are the really the the most things that you guys are gonna spend um, time in, and and you'll always have questions about it because you don't. And and just so you guys know, like if you have questions about it, you we will always have the user guide for you or the admin guide, but you can always ask us. I would, um, we do not want you to ask Pure Edge. We want you to send a help desk ticket in, and that's that email, the help desk at c21affiliated.com, because the really the only reason you should go to Pure Edge is for those new extensions. You should not go to them for any other questions. Um, so endpoints, I'm just going to click in here just to show you guys what it is. It's your phone. So um, you'll never probably use this except for maybe if we add a phone to your office we might ha call you and the help desk might say hey can you do a couple things for us or whatever we might have you go in there but you by yourself will never go in there so you do not need to worry about it the next thing is auto attendant so auto attendant is where again a lot of you will probably spend some time 
Um, I'm gonna just go into the report office. Uh, you guys will all have, um, you'll all have access to all of the auto attendants in the office. So Laporte will have access to Lowell and Lowell will have access to Laporte. Winfield will have access to Michigan City. Michigan City will have access to Winfield. So it's kind of, um, you guys will all have access to each other. Do, don't go in there unless somebody asks you to do something. Don't go in another offices, one. Um, it's just not a good idea. Um, so right now we have, um, again, these numbers here, you guys just kind of don't need to worry about. So right now, what you have is, this is your auto attendant. You can, re right now you all have a generic unless you have recorded your own auto attendant. So basically it says, hi, you've reached um, Century 21 affiliated. We are not um, open right now or no one's here to answer your call. Please um, leave a message. Um, if you press zero to leave a message for us or press, uh, yeah, the star button for the company directory. So, some of you have asked about, um, well, when I hit, you know, the start for the company directory, I get everybody in the company, and, you know, my agents don't particularly like that. You can configure your buttons, but you can only do one through nine, so be aware of that. So, you could change your auto attendant to say, to press one to um, get a hold of, and then you can put the extension of the person. Um, you know, one for Amy, two for Kristen, three for Gail. So you can do that. I would suggest that you speak with your team leader before you do anything like this. Um, your team leader really should be the one um, that makes that decision if they want to use this or not. And again, because there's only nine spots, if you have more than nine agents, or if you have nine agents and you're going to have 10 agents, someone is going to fall off. So make sure that if you're gonna do this, you talk to your team leader and you get permission as to what you what is going to um, occur. Now, if you have um, people that are extensions and they all have cloud, um, uh, cloud um, extensions, you can just do their extension. If you wanna do an outside number, you could do an outside number as well. But I just want to, again, tell you all that if you do this, please make sure that you talk to your team leader, get a good script before you do it. Because again, when you record it, you're just gonna call your phone and then you're just gonna pick up the phone and do the recording. You, The team leader might wanna be the one that does the recording, but I suggest, again, if you guys do it, make sure that you have a script that you, do, that you have before you do the recording. Um, and it will, so if you mess it up, it will let you delete it when you're listening to it. So again, just make sure that you, um, that you follow the directions when you do the recording. Because you don't want to wipe out another recording if you don't, if you really didn't want to do that. Um, so this is, that's where you would do all your auto attendant, um, your auto attendant for your office. Most offices don't do it, but again, there's some other there are some offices out there that have have requested that this happen. So just so you know that that you can do this, but it is after that ninth agent, you have to it will be the company directory. The next thing that I'm going to show you guys is time frames. You'll only have access to your time frame for the office. Well, actually, I take that back. I think you have access to all the time frames. Hold on. Pretty sure you do. I think I just have report in here. Oh, and notice that too, that just so you guys know too, it sticks, you're searching. So if you come in here and you're like, why is there only one thing in here? It's probably because you have something in the search. I've done it so many times, I can't even tell you. So if IT does it, you, you'll probably end up doing it too. It, it happens all the time. These are not in alphabetical order, which drives me crazy too. So that's probably why I have Laporte in here. So I just go in here, go to Laporte. 
this is where you guys are going to put your um, your time, um, your um, time that your office is open. So there's a couple couple things you can do here in this. So one thing you can do is during your office hours board calls, right now it's going to the group report, but let's say for some reason the report office has some event that they need to go to and the Michigan City office needs to cover. I can change this to Michigan City and they, then her calls will forward to Michigan City. Um, after hours, that is that auto attendant again. So if that call comes out of those hours, they're gonna get that auto attendant message and it's gonna be the Laporte auto attendant. Now again, for some reason, I don't know why you would do this, but there have been times where maybe, you know, the Laporte office is out or whatever, you can change these forwarded to a different after hours too. So again, those during, this is really helpful for those of you that have lost internet. You call the other agent or you call the other admin. So I think most of you have kind of like a buddy admin that you work with and you call your buddy admin and say, hey, we've lost, uh, we've lost our internet. Can you cover the phones while the internet is down? If the internet does go down, just be aware that it's kind of like it's after hours. It will go directly to voicemail. Um, you won't, you don't need to worry about it. You will get that, that email message, but it is important for you guys to know that you can call someone and ask them to change this for you if you're, if you're unable to do that. Okay. The most important one, the time that your office is open. So for those of you not in Eastern time, this would be me. It's this, all this is done in Eastern time. So it can be a little confusing. Uh, the Laporte office is open from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Okay, that's not true. It's actually 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. So just be aware that that, that whenever, if you're not in an Eastern time zone, write it down what you're, <laughs> and I did this just in Berwyn. I had to write down the time that they're, that they're open and then put the Eastern time on top of it so I knew what time to put it at. So those Saturday ones, um, again, you know that you guys are open from like 10 to one or whatever, just make sure that you have that correct time here. Again, Eastern time, it's a little confusing, but that is um, that that is what it does, or that is the, what the time zones are set at. Now, if you're not open Saturday, by default, most all offices are Monday through Friday. So if you're not open Saturday, you can unclick this. Or if you are open Sunday, um, like the Berwyn office is open on Sunday, they and you can go in here and change the time. And if you're not gonna be open Sunday, you can take it off. Um, and if for some reason, like you're gone, your guys' office is gonna be closed all day, you can just go in here, pop in here, and, and un, uncheck the active, and it will roll to your auto attendant all day. So there's a couple of different things that you can kind of do with, with the time that is easy for you. I do want to let you all know that the holidays are already programmed into the system. So you guys don't need to worry about Christmas or the day before Christmas or anything like that. That, that should already be programmed into the phone system. Because we do have a thing called holidays. Um, so the last thing that I want to talk about are ring groups which again is probably something that you're all very um, want to know about. Ring groups are, um, are where the phone rings. So all of you are gonna probably have, um, and I'll just search this, bring up everybody's. All of you are gonna have your office, you're gonna all see your office here. So for instance, if I go into Aurora right now, when someone calls the main number in Aurora, these are the phone numbers that will, these are the phones that ring. So it rings extension 2806 and the extension 2841. These are phones. So remember, these are phones that you, you, you can't even pick uh, cloud extensions, but you can um, put, put phones here. One thing that um, I know that some admins do, again, this is one of those things like 
hey, we're going to be out of the office, but we don't want the auto attendant to answer, but we'll just have it transfer to a cell phone number. You can add a, a cell phone number in there. So you could I could add my cell phone number in here. So when someone called the main office of the Aurora office, it would also ring my cell phone. So it is uh, one of, again, one of those things that you guys can do um, it, um, if you wanted, if you wanted to add your cell phone or the team leader's cell phone, because let's say you guys have got to go to a picnic or you have, you know, there's a lot of things that you guys do during the day. Um, you're going to go do wheels on meals or whatever. You could do it that way as well. You could just add your cell phone in there if they wanted to and, and, and it would keep. You could also do an app ringing for calls too and you could pick if something else is out of um, auto attendant. You could pick something else. I wouldn't suggest changing it, but you could. I wouldn't suggest it, but it's there. I'm going to say that again. I wouldn't suggest it, but it's there. <laughs> um, I, mostly I would, I would do the add uh, the cell phone number in there if you're going to add something. Um, and again, if you have other phones like, oh my gosh, you know what? We would really like this phone to ring too. When the when the main line rings, you guys can change that in here. So you could add a cordless phone or you could add whoever's phone that you wanted to ring in there. So again, it has to be a phone number, but you can um, change this and, and move it kind of up and down. Um, and all of you, again, have access to everyone. So, um, for instance, if you were, I wouldn't, I would, you really use the time frames if you're going to change something, but you could for a ring group, if you had another office that um, you're covering or something, you could add your phone in there if you wanted to. So it's kind of a nice thing that you can do kind of different kinds of things with. Um, a lot of teams will have groups in here, ring groups in here. So, you know, if it doesn't hit, you know, someone wants to call, for instance, I'm in the Winfield office, they want to call the David Taylor group. You could have it that you set it up that all the phones in the David Taylor group ring when someone calls in. So there's a couple different things that you guys can do um, with this. Um, and it really, if, if you guys want to get like, you know, crazy with it, feel free to call us and let us know. Um, and we are happy to assist you and walk you through any of that. Um, I did want to touch base or touch a little bit just real quick on um, on the phones themselves. And I was going to bring up, um, hold on just a minute. I was going to bring up the phone because there was uh, been some questions I know about, um, you know, what are the buttons on the phone? What are, and let me sh make sure I'm sharing this with you guys. Sharing, share now. Um, hold on. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to make this big. So you guys know that you have the, the color phones and the agents have the um, black and white phone. Um, just a couple of things I just wanted to sh point out to you guys. Next page. And these are all the kind of the same thing on everybody's phone. But again, that little, this little thing up here, if it's blinking, it means that you guys have a message. Um, you can get to your voicemail clicking the little envelope icon. I think one of the things that I get the most questions on is mute, um, speakerphone, and headset. So this is a headset um, that you can put on your phone. They we do we don't do the cordless headset. You can get a um, a wired headset if you wanted for your phone. Um, you can do the speakerphone is that middle one, and then that bottom one is the mute. Um, and just remember that these keys and this. They do the soft key thing here too, that your screen changes when you pick up the phone. I think most of you know that, but I did want to just kind of uh, touch on it real quick about how it does change um, when you guys are on the phone. So I might be on the phone with you and say, well, when you hang up, you'll see this, um, you'll see this on your phone. And so just so you know that those all did change. There also, you guys can do program programmable buttons on your phone. 
And I brought up this page because I thought it was the best one to bring up. When you are on, when you're sitting there on your phone, if you hit this little home button here, you'll see this screen come up, new call messages directory. Actually, let me go back up one. Cause you won't, you'll see it. Let's see if I can make this really, really big. Oh. Oh. Okay, it, it does show it here. So you'll see new call messages directory. If you see this right here, if you click that and you guys have the side button box on here, you can add um, extensions into your phone. So, so they're, they're called like hotkeys. So what you would do is you click here on this directory, and then the next screen that would come up, you wanna hit um, contact directory, and then you would put in the, the person's um, name and then their extension. And what I'll try to do is I'm gonna try and get you guys some screenshots because I know that a bunch of you don't have these programmed in. And once you have them programmed in, you just transfer, you hit the hot, you get transfer, and then you hit the hot button and it transfers right to that person. You don't even have to enter extension 7212. You can just hit their name and it goes right to their extension. So just to make some things easier on you guys, I would really think that you guys might wanna use that, especially those that have you know, quite a bit of uh, agents in your office. It's really, really nice to have that um, as part of an easy way to transfer. And if you're not using the phone system, I really, really think you should. Um, and that my biggest thing is for dialing, um, for transferring. I mean, most of you guys, all your calls are transfers. You know, I'm gonna transfer you to this agent, I'm gonna transfer you to this agent. If you have extensions in there, then you only have to dial four numbers. Because remember, once you go one, you know, if I dial my number, if you wanted to dial it to mine, one seven two zero three three nine five three one five, that call is gone. You can't call it back. There's no, it's not calling you back. So if you fat finger it and dial 720-339-5513, it's gone. You, you can't get that call back. So I would suggest you use the extensions and use them to transfer calls. Even if you don't tell the agents for whatever reason you don't want to tell them, use it for yourself. Make yourself and your, it's so much easier on yourself. And it just makes your life way easier. Um, if you guys have, um, yes, it, it, one of the questions is, do you have, do we have hold music? Yes, there is hold music. Everyone should have hold music. Um, if you don't, let me know because everyone should have to say hold music too. Um, if anyone, does anyone else have any questions? Just you can unmute yourself and, and let me know if you have a question. Anyone wrote in? I'm just checking to make sure I don't see anyone writing in. Kelly? Yep. Hey, it's Bethany. I do have a question. Um, I cannot, for the life of me, figure out once I go in um, to check my voicemails, um, sometimes if I save them or um, somehow or another there's a, the mo a voicemail message in there that I need to go back into to delete to get it out of there because it'll say you you have two new messages and one saved message well I don't want that saved message anymore I can't figure out how to go in and delete that you can um, when you first log into um, the pure edge on on this voicemail one go to the voicemail tab mm -hmm. and it will it should be there if you put in your extension you'll see like, oh, uh, what's my extension? Oh, we can't see my extension. You should see your voicemails here if you pull up your inbox. Nobody has a voicemail on these things. But you should see your voicemail. Okay. Do you see it? I'm if sorry. If you don't, let me know. If you don't, let me know. Let me see if I can, let me log in my account because I think I do have voicemail. Hold on, leave. Um, oh, sign out. 
Let me see if Biden's in there. You also have it, by the way, you also have it on this front page, but don't, if you don't want to use, you can see them here on that front page too. Um, but you should see them. What is my extension? Oh, I don't even know what my extension is. Uh, my extension is set for Okay, I should have. Yeah, you're 4325. Yeah, that doesn't say I have old. I don't, the screen that I'm seeing right in front of me is still a picture of the phone. I don't see where you're going. Oh, sorry. I ch let me change this back. So if I go into- There we uh, go. Back to this voicemail one, and there's my voicemail box, and I go to old because they're ones I've listened to. Mm -hmm. Hit submit. You can see them there. And oh. You can just delete them. Okay. Cool. So you could do it there. Okay. Thank you. Mhm. Mm Does anyone else have any questions? Well, if you do have any questions or you totally forgot what what this webinar is about, because I know that. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So, and, and like I said, yep. <laughs> Sorry about that. I thought I unmuted it. This is Gail. I do okay. have a question. Sure. Um, it's with the. Hold on. <laughs> Trying to pull it up because I've been following you along. Um, I have an extension that's an extra extension uh -huh. of somebody who left, yep. and I've got it set to agent 3747 however the name i'm i'm not sure where it's getting the name it has the name of the old attendant and i can't seem to figure out where i need to change it that i did not change it so i don't know if you want to go into south bend if that would help so what so say that again so you're you're in okay in the um ex in the cloud extension. Yep. Yeah, what's the extension number? Because I can. It's I have my. Thirty-seven forty-seven. And it's, okay. there it says Agent 3747. However, if you click on it, uh -huh. then um, down in the voicemail box, it still says Mika Mendez. Oh, you'll need to go into voicemail box, into this one, and change it. Okay. So you go, so I need to go. over to okay, the voicemail Okay, I'm not seeing. Okay, there. So, so the voicemail tab? Yeah. Nope. The voicemail under, it should be, this is why I don't use mine. It should be on the left-hand side here. It says mailbox. Okay. Hold on. Let me go home. <laughs> and that's under search. Yep. Okay. And mailbox. Okay. And then it should be under that standard mailbox. Okay. I have I have a number in there, so I must have searched yep. on. Okay, so now I find thirty-seven forty-seven. Yep. Okay, and take out the name there. Yep. Got it. It's been driving me crazy. Yep, that's how you do it. <laughs> okay. So again, like. I, like I said, you guys, I mean, I know that you don't do it very often. So, you know, you have the user guys. I, I'll send it out to you all again. Um, I think I have everybody. And I will also, um, but you always, always are welcome to ask us any questions. So if you have a question, don't hesitate to ask. You know, send us a help desk ticket. Um, probably don't call us about it. Send us a help desk ticket because it's not, you know, an emergency. But um, it, again, if you guys do that, um, you know, we will be able to help you. 
And I'm recording this uh, webinar as well. So I will put it out there somewhere where you guys can all get to it um, if you want to follow again along with it um, for the future. And I'm going to try again every month to have a webinar. And I might, you know, do like a full webinar. I'll just do one that's on, you know, uh, at when an agent leaves or one that's, you know, an agent is hired. So then you guys can maybe just have like little uh, little videos that you can watch when um, that would be awesome. Yeah. yeah. So I will try and get that done um, within like that's on my that's on my goal list. So um, I'll, I'll try and start getting those done for you guys. Um, but if no one else has any more questions, we can be done for the day. Not really. I do have another question. Okay, go ahead. Uh, on the time frame, uh -huh. my time frame is set from 9 to 5 Eastern time. Should okay. it say 11 o'clock p.m.? No, they're just – so every team lead decides what those are. Okay. Um, they they – I know that the Laporte office, they're there till 10 a lot of days, so they just have it okay. set till 10. Gotcha. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't doing anything wrong and that ha I had five of No. I would ask Jill, though, if that's what she wants the phone to ring or she wants them later or whatever, because okay. some team leads do like it to ring till six because there's a age, you know, it really should go with what you have for uh, floor coverage, too. Right. So right. think about it. If you have a full, if you if you have agents there till six, you probably should have your phones ring till six because the last not hour generally. So, like in my situation, Kelly, it's Bethany again. Um, we got we're supposed to be open from nine to seven, and a lot of times these agents don't come in for their five to seven shift. So, how yep. how many times does the phone ring then before it'll just go to voicemail? It's five, I believe. Five rings. Yep. Four okay. or five. Yeah. So, and we, if you want that be smaller we can try and work that out um, but usually that's a good good amount okay thank you mm -hmm. all right well if no one else has any other questions we can be done um, thank you all for attending and I'll uh, I'm sure I'll talk to you all later thanks thanks Kelly